Hey guys, Capper here, and first of all, Happy New Year. Wow, 2020, who would have thought? All right, let's get into this. We bought this um, farmhouse and hunk of land in western Kentucky here this year, and man, we have come a long way. The uh, piece of land was supposed to be 203 acres, but after surveying it, it ended up being uh, 190 acres. And you could see it had a, a lot of open fields here, and most of it was wooded. But this was our starting point as far as the land goes. And then the home, which was like right across the street from the property, the home was an old farmhouse on 11 acres. So the gentleman that's talking, he is currently leasing this farm for hunting, but I took advantage of him being there to uh, get some intel on the house and asked him what he would change about it if he owned it and what needed repairs. So, In a heartbeat. What, it's propane. So everything's down here, the bedroom? Yeah, there's a bedroom right here. Here's another bedroom. They didn't have the house last season, but I say September a lot, October a lot, and then pretty much the... It is what it is? It is what it is. It's a, built in like 1958 or something like that. It's an old, old farmhouse. So here's a before look at the backyard. Uh, we didn't waste any time. I mean, right now this is just piles of trash all around from the excavator and tractor and from the rehab. But this is what it looked like when we first bought it backyard was really nice and it had several beautiful old barns and outbuildings. They were kind of tilted and decrepit but they were very old buildings and we had a lot of fun exploring them. People left everything and he said he said hey I know he had an auction sold a bunch of antiques. <laughs> he said he was walking and stepped on an old metal couple some metal signs one of them brought twelve hundred dollars. Oh off. my like an old gosh! Gas company gas sign. See, we never get that lucky, man. And here's a quick walk around of the outbuildings. Um, one of them, which you're going to see right up here on the left, that's actually an old cabin. And the other two are like a chicken barn and another type of barn. But these are all loaded with all kinds of stuff in them. You know, antique leftover stuff and of course a lot of garbage stuff that usually comes with these kind of properties but the uh, the house had a beautiful beautiful 11 acre parcel with it so this beautiful little pine grove you see here is part of the 11 acres that's attached to the house so from an investment standpoint you know that turned out fantastic because it was only supposed to be four acres and then when they surveyed it, it ended up being 11 acres. So the house in 11 acres is another beautiful um, addition to the 190 right across the road. So that's how everything stood when we bought it and we didn't waste any time. Uh, Mrs. Capper does a lot of the uh, rehab stuff herself. Um, this was her very first item. She tackled the front deck. And we ended up hiring out most of the rehab from our friend uh, Matt Jennings. He's the one that did it and is still working on it. Um, so I brought the excavator out there and I started tackling, trying to clean up the jungle, I guess, if you will. So the first step was to kind of resurrect this old red barn uh, because on the back side it was uh, trees were growing in it and there was a little water cut that came all the way up to it. So I was able to tweak all that up with the uh, excavator and then go to work on the 190 acres. All right, and there's the finished product. It needs just a little more work on the dam out here. I don't see a uh, drop line, if you will, you know, where it was up a foot higher and it dropped, which is fantastic news right there. So along the way this summer, as we'd explore these barns and we continue to, we would find uh, little treasures and old stuff that were really neat to keep. So then as part of this investment, we found this rehab tractor that was uh, we purchased for a very reasonable price. And then again, Matt Jennings rehabbed it for us. So that's the tractor for this farm. 
So then Matt went to work on the rehab and kicked everything off on the farmhouse portion of things. And during that time, I went to work on the uh, farm with Iron Mike, working on food plots and stuff, which you'll see here in a minute. So the rehab consisted of basically redoing all of the walls, most every single window, all of the flooring. Here's where the ceiling fell in on Matt. And the ceiling hit the ground for no apparent reason. It just falls. For no apparent reason. It just falls. Right there. Right there is that tower. And everything runs down to this corner. So you're going to get plenty of water flow. That's the big one. He said he wants this spot. Who am I to argue with the clerks? that can which actually that's an old can right there look at that shame look at that I always wanted these kinds right here so then I started running trail cams and to my surprise there was a really nice batch of mature bucks already living on and around the property that's very rare when you buy a property most of them are all shot up and there's you know maybe a few two-year-olds around a three-year-old if you're absolutely lucky but in this case um, you know no giants or anything like that really but there's a nice batch to start with keep in mind this is our starting point and already this first year um, I've harvested one buck which you'll see in a minute but other than that there's been no hunting pressure whatsoever so in a couple years these bucks are just going to continue to increase the age structure and it should turn out to be an absolutely phenomenal farm here looking ahead. They're actually kitty corner. That one back there with the big wisdom oak tree and then this other one with a deer tower. We put uh, we put brassicas, we put uh... should they start using it I mean, usually you do this stuff much earlier in the season. I'm way behind, but back this one's got a bump out on it, right over in there, across from that tree stand yonder. Step: clover, chicory, and brassicas, and we will be out of here. On this side of it, so when we have north winds coming this way, all of these deer are going to be upwind. And speaking of this brand new plot set up here, um, this is where I harvested the gnarly buck, my buck from Kentucky this year. Um, wasn't a giant, but he's going on the wall very, very much different and a lot of weird character. So my first kind of weird buck like that that I've ever harvested. And now let's take a look at the rehab, how it's coming along here. So Matt has been basically working weekends, which you know, it makes things take a lot longer. But here's a few scenes along the way during updates of the rehab. And of course, as usual, barns like this we're finding with all kinds of junk in them. Uh, Mrs. Capper pulled some barn boards off, which you're gonna see here in a minute, because uh, she's using these for accent walls in the house. So one of the main living room walls is gonna be um, partly these red barn boards and then the center is going to be tin with a um, with a little pot belly stove in the center so here's a look at like one room that's pretty much all the way finished uh, we had the the wood floors basically uh, stripped and not really refinished but just clear coated so they're kind of rustic um, but everything is this knotty pine and Mrs. Capper is making all kinds of uh, neat decorations and stuff um, inside for it. So it's going to be kind of like a brand new cabin but it's going to have a really rustic feel. There's going to be a lot of cool things. This is the porch which was just filled with all kinds of junk but now it's cleaned off and she's 
taking these old rocking chairs and making um, a little table for them. So this is where it's at right now. That's the living room. She's almost got the accent wall completely done and now it's going to be onto the kitchen. So definitely stay tuned. We appreciate everyone being on board with us on this uh, exciting adventure. So we look forward to hopefully a better year in 2020. So best wishes to everyone for the new year. Capper out.